Hi guys, welcome back. It has been three months since my kidney transplant and there's a lot that has happened since then. Transplantation, unfortunately, is not a cure, it's a treatment option and as such, there's always going to be some type of adjustment, um, changes and just new things that are going to pop here and there and that's what I want to share with you guys today. Hopefully that can give you an idea as to what to expect in the first three months of a kidney transplant. In my case, I left the hospital uh, without any complications. My creatine was 0.89, which it was pretty good. Since then, my creatine has gone from 0.89 to 1.2 has been the highest. Um, every time I get lab work done, it's different, but it has stayed within the range. During the first month, is tons of appointments to go back to the transplant center for lab work and doctor's appointments. I was going actually four times each week during the first month. I live about an hour away from my transplant center, so it was a lot of driving at first. Uh, thankfully, that got much better. Um, on the second month, I started going only about twice a week, and right now I'm only doing twice every two weeks. After I got discharged from the hospital and I came home, one of the first things that I had to deal with was pain. I wasn't able to lay it on my left or right side. I can only be on my back. so. Laying like that really got to me. It was super uncomfortable. I also had this stabbing pain right under my incision. I don't think that's something that everyone gets. Uh, mine was more of a, a nerve damage. You know when they cut you open to put the kidney in, they, um, they cut through muscle, they cut through um, nerves, maybe some fat. I believe that's what happened um, because at about two weeks, two and a half weeks, the pain got much better but I was left with numbness around the area. I'm going to make you a drawing. Just, just keep in mind, I'm being very generous with my curls, especially my abdomen. <laughs> if, I, if I give you like a real representation of my body right now, no one will watch this YouTube video. So here, is my incision for my kidney and this is for my PV catheter when they take it out. So the tenderness area is around here. If I press on it, it feels like numb, but it actually has got much better. I left the hospital taking tons of medications. At first, I was in very high doses, uh, which translated into more pills. Taking transplant or post-transplant medications works a little different than just take, taking regular medications. I'm actually also working in another video that I will link down in the description. I will talk about what I'm taking, uh, how much, the side effects that some of them has given me, and how they have decreased over time. But check it out. I think it will be very informative. I know those are the kind of things that I wish I knew uh, before I went into transplant. My medications actually got much better. I went from taking 40 plus pills a day to taking, right now I'm only taking 13 pills. So that has got much better. After transplant, there is a few things that I've been dealing with. One is numbness in my hand. So these two fingers all the way to here, it just feel numb. Um, the doctor don't think it's medication or transplant related. He advised me to go see a regular doctor. So I guess I'll do that. <laughs> Another thing that is medication related is that I'm bloated all the time. That comes with some stomach issues from time to time. My doctor changed me from the regular Celsep to a slow release Celsep and that didn't help at all. Um, Last week, he just reduced my dose. I'm still kind of testing it out, it's been a week. It hasn't really helped me. So probably next time I see him, most likely he is going to change medications again. During the first three months, I had also experienced an increase in appetite. Um, this is mainly caused by taking prednisone and it's usually more common when the doses are pretty high. Right now, I'm on the lowest dose of prednisone, which is five milligrams, and I will be on that for the rest of my kidney life and the appetite hasn't really decreased. And that concerns me a little bit because I don't want to gain a lot of weight on my face. I took pregnancy many years ago and um, my face got like huge. And I know that can happen again if I don't watch my diet. 
something that did decrease by decreasing my dose of prednisone was um, my blood sugar level. So as the doctor decreased my doses of prednisone, uh, also my blood sugar levels started to stabilize. Right now, my blood sugar levels are actually back to normal. That's pretty much all I have experience of uh, like new things and just kind of side effects. I get some headaches here and there, but it's nothing that I'm too concerned or that are often enough for me to, to tell my doctor and stuff, you know, to kind of like relate it to my kidney transplant. So other than that, uh, when it comes to exercise, I have a stick to um, just walking. After two months of the transplant, um, I asked my doctor if I could do yoga, and I did. I came home and I did 10 minute, uh, 10 minute routine, very basic. When I finished my routine, um, I had pain in my kidney area. That felt different, it, it didn't feel right. So I decided to just kind of stick to walking for now, and maybe I give it a shot in a couple more weeks. So besides of having the numbness in my hand and stomach issues and being hungry, etc., um, I do have to say that having a working kidney has been amazing. My energy levels are up. I feel like I feel alive. I feel like I can finally do all the things that I wanted to do before and now I actually have the energy. You know, as a chronic kidney disease patient, we, we spend our life tired. You know, that's, that's like the theme. You have to kind of like rearrange your life based on when you're going to be tired or how much you can handle and things like that. And right now, not having to worry about that all the time. I mean, it's not 100% that you feel like great every single day, but I will say 98% of the time so far, I feel really good. That feeling of being healthy, it really make up for everything else that is not going perfect. I don't know what the future holds, but so far I am very thankful and I'm very happy that I had the opportunity to get a kidney transplant. And I'm even more thankful with my brother. My brother was my donor and he's doing pretty good as well. He's working. Um, so I'm very happy so far with everything that has happened. Thank you guys for watching. If you find value in this video, consider subscribing. Come with me in this journey. A lot more videos are going to come. All these videos are with the intent to help others that are probably following behind in this journey that can be sometimes kind of tricky. But anyways guys, take care, stay strong, stay healthy, and we'll see you guys soon.